Hi everyone, this is Minnie Roberts from the mummyblog.net. Uh, today we're going to talk about preparing your children for big life changes. I'm not talking about getting a new bike or learning a new skill or playing a new sport. I'm talking about moving out of your childhood home. Uh, facing difficult circumstances, uh, say a huge shift in economic status because of our reduced circumstances, because of changes in employment, the sum total is that we are going to sell our house, take what we can get out of it, and run. And um, I've been preparing them for this for a very, very long time, and they're extremely upset. <sighs> Mindy, my heart goes out to you, and I absolutely think that you're right, that it's just a matter of time until we're all facing a life change that we didn't necessarily ask for, that we don't think that we can handle and that we have to handle for the sake of ourselves and for our kids. I guess it depends on uh, what kind of kid you have in these situations because with my son, the more we talk about something, the more we try to prepare him, the, uh, the more he gets sort of defensive and worried and anxious. You know, why are they talking? If they're talking about it so much, it must be a really big deal. Why are they talking about it? and uh, it tends to cause more of a problem. I am probably going to err on the side of giving them a little bit too much information because kids understand a whole lot more than we give them credit for. I know that I did as a child. I remember there were times when I figured stuff out and I just didn't mention it out of politeness to my parents because they didn't think I'd understand and it was just too awkward for me to say, I totally get it. Would have been nice for you to give me a clue, but I get it. I do think that you're right, that giving them more information rather than less is really important. Um, trying to always give them a sense of security that no matter what is happening in their life, whether it's um, scarcity because of money or a death in the family, which is so frightening for a child. When my, my dad had some major heart surgery a couple of years ago, it was again, it was kind of tough to know how much information he wanted. So we would sort of give him a little bit and then you know, let him sit with that and wait. And just have lots of opportunities for him to ask more questions if he wanted to. So the discussion I have with my children about what's going on right now, option number one, we live off grandma and grandpa. We've been doing that, not gonna do that anymore. Option number two, we wait and then we sell, take whatever money we get and rent and then figure out our next stop. Okay, anybody want to guess what option number three is? Anyone? Anyone? And my littlest girl went, we could wait, not do anything, and then the bank takes our house and we don't get anything. This is an eight-year-old. She totally got it. So many times for our kids, what we give to them isn't going to be ideal. It's not going to be what they need. It's not going to be what they hope for. And in 10 years, they'll be talking to their therapists about the fact that they wish mom and dad did it differently, but it's, it's okay. What do you do when you have something looming? Do you tell the kids? Is it dependent on their ages? Of course it's dependent on their ages. How much information is too much? Join the Momversation at momversation.com.